good afternoon to everyone i am gaurav gupta today in this lecture we are going to take the most important topic which is to solve the linear equations either a pair of linear equation or a three linear equation we have to solve so we have two method to solve the linear equation one method is matrix method and second method is what cramer rule so what are the method you have to do if you are preparing yourself for board exams either your cpsc board hbsc board or any other boards you have to do solve the question by using matrix method because this method is mentioned in your ncert books and other books but whenever you are preparing for yourself jwe for iit exams then does this cramer rule will help you to crack the jwe because one question in every times jwe or cbc board haryana board maharashtra board up board and any other boards one question will always ask in your final exam cbc board and haryana board ask such type of question in six marks so this question is very 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 important and whenever you are preparing for yourself jwe so one question always occur as a four marks in jwe so this topic is very very important i hope you listen me carefully and watch the video from start to end i will take each and every step how to can crack the jwe or how you can solve to get the full marks in board exam so please make a note then i will start i am going to start first method is matrix method so in your fair notebook you have to solve all question by using method matrix method but i will explain the cramer rule also and will explain i am going to explain all the condition that we have to use it's very very important so please make a note first and i am going to take this matrix method so please look here what is this i am solving question number 1 exercise 5.4 from element mathematics question number 1 the part 1 what the question ask solve the linear equation in this we have two linear equation it means we have a pair of linear equations this is the linear pair of equation so what's the matrix method say x is equal to a inverse b what is x what is a inverse what is b please make a note first the first step to solve the linear equation you have to create a matrix now what is our a matrix is a matrix basically the coefficient matrix of the variables in this equation we have two variables x and y so we have to write its coefficients so if i am writing the coefficient of x what are the coefficient of x in this 5 and in this equation is 7 now what are the coefficient of y y is minus 7 and in this equation minus 5 so whenever you write the coefficient matrix that matrix is represented by capital a so you already know how we calculate a inverse it's very simple by using adjoint formula what's the inverse a inverse is what adjoint of a divided by determinant of a we can calculate easily a inverse we already did in a exercise 5.2 we did so many questions it's very very easy so this exercise is almost you have did because we already know how we calculate a inverse and now we have to know what is b b is again matrix which is the solutions of the this linear equation or you can say that the constant terms this is your coefficient matrix this is what this is basically 
coefficient matrix and what is b b is your constant element matrix constant means the right side element is called your constant elements so 2 and 3 this is your b matrix now what is x x is also a matrix of variable in this what we have variables two variables x and y so what is x is x and y so this is your x matrix so please make up you have to given a linear equation you have to write first a a is what coefficient matrix you have to write its coefficient then you have to write b b is what constant term that is here 2 and 3 now what is x x your variable matrix in this equation we have two variables x and y that's why i have write x and y now we have to solve first a inverse then we have to do multiply it with b and equate with x and get the values of x and y how we do get the solution please make a note first then i will solve it now we have to solve this question we write a b and x first step is what we have to find out adjoint of a and we know what is a is matrix is what a is 5 7 7 and minus 5 firstly we have to write the cofactors so please write cofactors of a11 first elements you have to cut row and cut column we get minus 5 now what's the cofactor of a12 cut second column and first row we get 7 now what's the cofactor of 2 1 this second row and first column we get minus 7 now what's the cofactor of a 2 2 cut second row and second column we get 5 and what are the signs we have to take 1 1 is 2 2 means even we have to retain the same sign now 1 plus 2 3 or we have to do change the sign so we get Minus seven. Now what? Two plus one three odd. We have to do change the sign. Plus. Now two plus two four. It means we have to retain the same sign. That is five. Now what is or what? We get cofactor matrix. What is our cofactor matrix? Is what? We got minus five, minus seven, plus seven, and five. now what we have to do calculate adjoints adjoint is what transpose of cofactor matrix cofactor matrix transpose so what we have to do take its transpose we get this is our row make it as column minus 5 And minus seven. This is second row. Make it column seven and five. We get adjoint. Now what we have to do? We have to find out the a determinant. What is a? A is this. What's the determinant of a? Is what? Directly we can calculate five into minus five. Minus twenty five. Minus seven into minus seven. Minus 49. So what's the result? Minus 25 plus 49. We get 24. This is what? This is determinant of A. So we get determinant of A. Now what's the formula of A inverse? A inverse is basically adjoint of A divided by determinant of A. So what's the determinant of a is 24. So I can write 1 by 24. Now 
Now what is adjoint of A? Adjoint of A this is minus 5, 7, minus 7, 5. So we got what? A inverse. Now what we have to do? Now we have A inverse, X and B. So we have to put all in the formula which is called matrix method. Please make a note first or take a screenshot. Now I am going to solve here. What is matrix method? Matrix method. What's the formula of matrix method is? X is equal to A inverse B. Now we have to put all the values. What is X? X is your matrix. X and Y. So I am writing here X, Y. Now what we have to put? A inverse. I have already A inverse. 1 by 24. Which is minus 5. Minus 7. 7. 5. Now what is B? B is what? 2 and 3. Now we have to solve. How we get solved? 1 by 24. Do multiply. Minus 5 into 2. We get minus 10. 7 into 3. We get 21. Minus 7 into 2. Minus 14. 5 into 3. 15. So we got 1 by 24. This is what? This is 11. This is what? This is 1. And what's the result? We can also write as because 24 is divide form. So we can also write 11 divided by 24 and 1 divided by 24. Now what you have left hand side? We have on the left hand side is x and y. Now to compare first element is equal to first element so what's the values of x is x is 11 by 24 now what's the values of y is what y is 1 by 24 this one is our final answer i hope you understand this concept i'm going to take another question also please make a note first now I am going to take a similar question that illustrates the same matrix method. Please make a note here. This is a second part of the question number 1. Firstly what we have to write? We have to write the three matrix A, X and B. What is A? A is what? Your coefficient matrix. Here the coefficient of X is what? 3, 5 and here the coefficient of X, Y is what? minus 7 and 2 now what is b b is your constant term matrix and here the constant term is what minus 4 and 7 third one is what variable matrix in this what are the variables again the variables are same x and y so i am writing here x and y what first step is you have to write all these three matrix then second step i am writing this step this is your step one now i am going to take second step step two is what you have to check your matrix is either singular or non-singular what you have to take check check singular or non singular you know how we can check the singular and non singular if the matrix determinant is zero then it will be a singular matrix otherwise it is a non singular matrix so first second step is what you have to find out the determinant first so what's the determinant of a 3 minus 7 
pi 2. Now solve this 3 into 2, 6 minus 7 into minus minus 35. So we got 41 and 41 not equal to 0. It means this is non singular matrix this is a non singular matrix and if you get a matrix which is non singular then following points you have to note first point is you get a system of solution consistent second point is what you get unique solution unique solution means you get one solution and third one is what nature lines are intersecting you get the lines which are intersecting the same you already did in class 10 how you can check by the coefficients a1 by a2 p1 by b2 and c1 by c2 please make them right first step is what we have to write in the form 3x minus 7 by plus 4 is equal to 0 same here we have to do 5x plus 2y minus 7 is equal to 0 then we have to divide the coefficients in this coefficient is what 3 by 5 in this coefficient is minus 7 by 2 and in this 4 by minus 7 and you know this is not equal and if the line if this is a1 by a2 not equal to b1 by b2 what is this this is basically indicate these terms. So now you can check the same thing by using this method also. But the main advantage of this method is what? In that case, you have only two equations of a straight line. But this method can also be calculated by using third equation. Means you have if you have three linear equations. And you have to get either the lines are intersecting, parallel, or coincident. You can check by using this method. It's very, very easy. So please make a note first. Then I have checked. So please make a note first. Now, if you confirm your matrix is non singular, then you get the these points. You have to learn all these points and I'm for the right all the condition that we have to follow and to find out the unique solution or whatever the infinite non solution everything you can say about if you write the conditions so if you get determinant not equal to zero it means you definitely get a solution which is only one solution which is also called unique solution now our step third use matrix method and what's the matrix method is x is equal to a inverse b this is our step third now we have to do put the values what is x x is your x and y your variables what is a inverse it means firstly we have to do calculate the a inverse so that's why i have to rub this What we have to do? First we have to find out the A inverse. A is what? Sorry. What is A? A is what? 3, 5. 3, 5, minus 7 and 2. First we have to calculate the cofactor matrix. Cofactor of a1 a1 is what? You have to cut first row and first column. You get 2. 
A12 is what? You have to cut first row and second column. We get 5. A21 is what? You have to cut second row and first column. We get minus 7. And A22 is what? Second row and second column. We get 3. This one is even. So the sign is same. Odd. We have to change the sign. Odd. We have to change the sign. Even. We have to retain the same sign. Now what's our cofactor matrix is what? Right? 2 minus 5 plus 7 and 3. Now what is our adjoint? Adjoint is basically transpose of the adjoint matrix. Cofactor matrix. Adjoint means we have to do transpose. This is your first row. We have to make it 2 minus 5. This is your second row. We have to make 7, 3. So we get adjoint of A as well as determinant of A. Now we can easily calculate the inverse. So please make a note first. Now find A inverse. What is A inverse? Adjoint of A divided by determinant of A. So what are the determinants? Is 41. So I am going to write 1 by 41. And what is adjoint? 2, 7 and minus 5, 3. 2, 7 and minus 5 and 3. This is our A inverse. Step fourth. Use matrix method. What is matrix method? X is equal to A inverse B. We have to write X is what? Your X with and Y variables. What is A inverse? 1 by 41, 2, 7, minus 5, 3. And what is B? B is what? Minus 4 and 7. Now please solve 1 by 41 as it is. Solve. 2 into minus 4, we get minus 8. 7 into 7, 49. Minus 5 into minus 4, 20. 3 into 7, 21. We get this value. Now further we have to do solve. Which is equal to 1 by 41. 49 minus 8, 41 and 41. So if we divide by 41, we get 1, 1. And x, so compare. x is equal to 1. We get x is equal to 1. Now compare. y is also 1. So we get y is also 1. So this one is your final answer. So you can conclude that this we have a unique solution system is your consistent and the values of the solution is x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 please make a note then we will proceed to our next question third part of the question one you have to do it yourself so now please make a note of this it's very very important to correct the jw what is the matrix method when you have to calculate the matrix method first step is what you have to do calculate the a determinant so if you get determinant of a is not equal to zero it means non-singular matrix then definitely the system of solution is consistent and you get a one solution which is called unique solution and the lines are because we are using two solve linear equation and linear equation basically represent a straight line so the lines are intersecting but if the determinant of a is not equal to zero but it is zero if the determinant of a is zero then you have to do second step what's the second step is what you have to calculate at joint of a and to multiply it with matrix B and after solving that you will get zero matrix then you can say that the system is your consistent you get infinite solutions and lines are coincident means lines are overlapping each other but 
if the product of or a multiplying of adjoint of a with matrix b is not equal to 0 then you can say that the system is inconsistent and you did not get any solution so you got only no solution so answer is no solution and the lines are parallel so please keep a note and always keep it in your minds which because these are the conditions that we have to do follow then such type of question becomes very very easy now now i'm going, going to solve next question so be alert and make a note now this is your second question second part i'm not take first part because first part is saying you get unique solution consistent solution but this question is something different so you have to do solve i am going to take second part step one is what we have to write the matrix a is what the coefficient matrix what is the coefficient matrix is 3 6 minus 2 and minus 4 now what is the b matrix is what the constant element matrix y went to now what is x your variable matrix and the variables is x and y next step is what you have to find whether check the line uh, whether you have to check the matrix is singular or non singular so you have to calculate the determinants 3 6 minus 2 minus 4 now solve this minus 4 into 3 we get minus 12 minus 6 into minus 2 minus 12 it means minus 12 plus 12 which is equal to 0 0 means it's a singular matrix or and we get singular matrix and what are the condition in this we have to check what we have to check at joint of a into b is 0 or at joint of a into b not equal to 0 we have to check so for checking we have to first calculate the adjoint what is our matrix a is what a is 3 6 minus 2 minus 4 and what are the cofactors of a11 you can do very fast what is the cofactor of 3 is what minus 4 a12 is what 6 a21 is what minus 2 and a22 is what 3 so these two signs remain same because we get even and we have to do change the sign this becomes negative and this becomes positive so we get cofactor matrix what is cofactor matrix is what minus 4 minus 6 plus 2 and 3 now we have to calculate the adjoint adjoint is what cofactor matrix we take transpose so what we will get we get minus 4 and minus 6 2 and 3 this is what this is adjoint of k now we have to do multiply it with b so please take a screenshot now what we have to do multiply adjoint of a multiply with matrix b what is adjoint of a minus 4 2 minus 4 2 minus 6 and 3 and now what is b b is what 5 2 now solve this minus 4 into 5 minus 20 2 into 2 4 minus 3 into 6 into 5 minus 30 3 into 2 6 so we got minus 16 minus 24 which is not equal to 0 matrix so if this one is not equal to 0 then what's the condition 
So system is what? System is inconsistent and has no solution and lines are parallel. So there is no need to further calculation because we doesn't get any solution. Please make a note. Now this is the third part of the question number two. Now solve this step one. What is your A? A matrix is what? 2, 6, 3, 9. What is B matrix? 5, 15. And what is X matrix? Your variables are X and Y. Now we have to find out whether the matrices are singular or non-singular. This is step 1. Step 2. A determinant is what? 2, 6, 3, 9. Solve this. 9 into 2, 18. 6 into 3, 18. It means we got 0. So determinant is equal to 0. And what we have to do? We have to check the condition whether the we get no solution or infinite solution. What we have to do? Adjoint of A into B is 0 or adjoint of A into B not equal to 0. We have to do check. So firstly we have to calculate the adjoint. So that's why what is your A? A is what? 2, 3, 6, 9. Now calculate cofactors of A11. A11 is what? 9. A12. A12 is what? 6. A21 is 3 and A22 is what? 2. Now these are the remains the same and we have to change the elements. Negative, negative. So we get a cofactor matrix. Cofactor matrix is what? 9, minus 6, minus 3 and 2. Now what is adjoint matrix? We have to do transpose. So if we do transpose, 9 minus 6 and this becomes minus 3 and 2. So we get adjoints. So what next step is what? We have to do multiply adjoint of A with B. So please make a note first. So we have to find out adjoint of A into B. Adjoint of A this and B is this. Now to solve multiply 9 into 5 45 minus 3 into 15 minus 45 minus 6 into 5 minus 30 2 into 15 30 please make a look what we will get we get 0 and 0 indicate that system is what consistent solution is what infinite solution and lines are what coincident lines now we have to do further solve to get the infinite solution and how we will get the solution of infinite terms so in this you have to do assume any variable is equal to any variables for example let you can make any variable is equal to give any constant. Suppose let I am taking x is equal to k. I am assuming x is equal to k and k is what? Any integer or you can say that k is what? Any integer. Now we have to do put in the equation number 1 put in equation 1 we get 2k plus 3y is equal to 5 this is the step 
you can make either variable either you can take y is equal to k or you can take x is equal to k and put it in equation number 1 and if from this equation you have to calculate the another variable so we have to calculate y 3y is what 5 minus 2k if we get y 5 minus 2k divided by 3 this is the values of y and this is what this is x so this gives us infinite solution this gives infinite solution now you have to do verify also verify put x and y in second equation because we already take first equation now you have to do second equation put the value of x and y in equation second what's the second equation is this is solve it 6x 6, 6 into x x is what k plus 9 into y y is what 5 minus 2 k divided by 3 now please solve it we get 6k 3 cancel out 1 2 is up now do matter 2 into 5 we get 10 2 into 2 4k now this is what sorry sorry but we did wrong 3 3 is a 9 we get 3 3 into 5 this is what 15 now 3 into minus 2 minus 6k and 6k is cancelled out with 6k so what we will get 15 and 15 is what your right hand side so this portion is where you are correct so if you get such type of portion you have to do all these steps very careful and you get infinite solution so using these steps you can find out for any matrix so please make a note now i am going to take question number three two question number two has another parts you have to do it yourself because all questions are same now i am going to take question number three it's very similar but the main difference is what in this we have three equations but in the question number one and two we have only two equations all the steps all the conditions are same you have to do in the same manner please make a note first we have to write the matrix your first step is what you have to write the coefficient matrix what the coefficient matrix is here 2 1 3 3 minus 2 minus 1 3 1 minus 2 what is b b is your constant element by minus 4 3 and what is x this is variable matrix in this variable are 3 x y and z now such step is check the singular matrix or non singular matrix we have to do find out the determinant of a now solve this 2 3 3 1 minus 2 1 3 minus 1 minus 2 now solve first we have to i am going to expand along r1 so you have to write these elements 2 3 3 this is positive this is negative this is positive now solve you have to cut first row and first column we get minus 2 1 minus 1 minus 2 cut it first row and second column we get 1 3 1 minus 2 cut it first row and third column we get 1 3 minus 2 and minus 1 now what we have to do we have to solve it please try to solve it 2 into minus 2 into minus 2 we get 4 minus 1 into minus 1 minus 1 so we get plus 1 minus 3 2 into 1 minus 2 minus 3 into 1 3 plus 3 1 into minus 1 we get minus 1 3 into minus 2 we get minus 6 so this becomes negative negative becomes positive we can write that 
सॉल्व इट टू फोर प्लस वन फाइव माइनस थ्री टू वन थ्री माइनस फाइव प्लस थ्री दिस इज ऑल्सो फाइव फाइव इंटू टू टेन माइनस थ्री इंटू माइनस फाइव प्लस फिफ्टीन फाइव इंटू थ्री फिफ्टीन विच इज फोर्टी एंड फोर्टीन इट वर्ट नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो मीन्स सिस्टम इज वॉट कंसिस्टेंट यूनिक सोल्यूशन लाइन्स आर वॉट लाइन्स आर इंटर सेक्टिंग नाउ वट वी हैव टू डू वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द यूनिक सोल्यूशन फॉर दैट पर्पज वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द एक्सोट ऑफ ए सो आई एम गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट एक्सोट ऑफ ए प्लीज मेक अ नॉट फर्स्ट now find cofactors cofactors of a11 is what cut first row and first column we get minus 2 minus 1 1 minus 2 solve it minus 2 into minus 2 we get 4 minus minus 1 into 1 minus 1 so it becomes 1 5 1 plus 1 is even so the sign remains same so we get first element is 5 i am writing the here cofactor matrix now we have to calculate a12 second row second column and first row we get 1 3 1 minus 2 solve it minus 2 into 1 minus 2 3 3 1 minus 3 we get minus 5 1 plus 2 3 odd it means change the sign we get plus 5 Now what we have to do? Calculate a one three. Cut third column, first row. We get one three minus two minus one. Solve it. One into minus one minus one. Three into minus two minus plus six. So we get five. One plus three even. So we get plus sign. Similar manner you can calculate all the cofactors. So please do it yourself. I am writing all these cofactors. So after solving, you will get your cofactor matrix. This element you can do verify also. Now what we have to do? We have to find out the adjoint of A. Adjoint of A is what? We have to take the transpose. So I am taking what? Transpose. So this is your row. It becomes five, 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 and this becomes three minus thirteen one. Sorry, what's wrong? Five, 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 five. This is second. Three minus thirteen, eleven, and this becomes nine, one minus seven. Now, what's the formula of inverse? Is adjoint of a divided by determinant of a. What's the determinant? Is we get I think forty. And adjoint of a is five, five, five. Three minus thirteen, eleven, nine, one minus seven. This is our A inverse. Now, so this is what this is our A inverse. Now our next step is what we have to put all these into the matrix method. What is x is equal to A inverse B. So I am having this portion. Please make a note first. Then I will give. Multiplication results. So I put the matrix method x is equal to a inverse b. X is what? X y z a inverse we already got. And what is b? B is five minus four and three. Now it's very simple. We have to do simply calculation. Now do solve further. One by forty term as it is. Now do multiply. Five into five twenty five. Three into minus four minus twelve. Nine into three twenty seven. Five into five twenty five minus thirteen into four plus fifty two. One into three. Three. Now solve this. Five into five twenty five. Eleven into minus four minus forty four. Se minus seven into three minus twenty one. Please add up. 
what we will get? 25 and 27 is what? 27 and 32, 52 minus 12, we get 40. Now solve this, 52 and 3, 55 and 40, we get 80. Now 25, uh, 44 and 21 is what? Uh, 65, 65 minus 25, we get minus 40. What we have to do? Divide it by 40. If we divide by 40, what we will get? On our left hand side is what? X, Y, Z. And in the right hand side we get 40 by 40. 1, 2, minus 1. So what's the values of X is 1, Y is 2, Z is minus 1. Please make a note first. I will check the answer. The answer is correct. You can note it in your fair notebook also. Please make a note. So this is the fifth part of the question number 3. The remaining parts are same to have to do it yourself. This question is also very similar. But the main difference is what? Please look at the question. In this some variable is missing. So firstly the step is for what? You have to write the all the variables. If their coefficient is 0, so write the place is 0. So I can write it as x plus y plus 0 z which is equal to 0. So similarly I can write it as 0 x plus y plus z is equal to 1. Similarly I can write also as take x is what? First x plus here y is missing. So I am going to represent 0 y plus z is equal to 3. Now it's very easy to make a matrix. What is our A? Coefficient matrix. In this coefficient is 1, 0, 1. In this 1, 1, 0. In this case is 0, 1 and 1. It's very simple. It's A. Now what is B? Your constant 0, 1, 3, 0, 1, 3. And similarly, what is x? We have three variables x, y, and z. So that's why I have to take x, y, z. x, y, z. Now our step is find out determinant of A. What's the A? A is this matrix. 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. Now simply solve it. I am going to expand along R1. So this one is R1. 1, 1, 0. This is positive, negative, this is positive. Now solve it. Cut the first row and first column. What we will get? 1, 0, 1, 1. Now cut the second column and first row. We will get 0, 1, 1 and 1. Now cut the third column and first row. We get 0, 1, 1 and 0. Now simply solve this. 1, 1 into 1, 1. 0 into 1, 0. Minus 1. 0 into 1, 0. Minus 1 into 1, 1 plus 0. If we multiply it, 0, we get 0. So there is no need to further solve it. Now solve this. 1 minus 0, 1 minus 1, 0 minus 1, minus 1. This is 1 minus minus plus 1, we get 2. And this is not equal to 0. So it, this is not equal to 0. It means system is what? Consistent. Solution is what? Unique. And lines are what? Lines are intersecting. So the similar step we have to first calculate the adjoint. And for that joint we have to do calculate cofactor matrix. So I am going to calculate cofactor matrix. So please make a note first. So our next step is to find out cofactors. So I am finding cofactors. 
cofactor of A11 is what? Cut the first one, first column. We got 1, 1, 0, 1. Now solve this 1 into 1, 1, 0 into 1, 0. So we get 1. 1, 1, 1, which means the sign will be remains 1. Cofactors of A12. A12 is what? Cut the first row and second column. We got 0, 1, 1, and 1. 1 into 0, 0. Minus 1 into 1, 1. 0 minus 1, minus 1. And this is odd. So we have to change the sign. This is 1. A13 is what? Cut the first column and first third column and first row. We got 0, 1, 1 and 0. So this 0 into 0, 0. 1 into 1, 1. So we get minus 1. And 1 plus 3, 4, even. So the sign remains same. Similarly, A21 is what? Cut second row and first column, we get 1, 0, 0, 1. Solve 1 into 1, 1 minus 0, we get 1. So 2 plus 1, 3, P or or we have to change the sign. So similar manner, you have to do calculate the all cofactors. So do it yourself. I am going to write all the cofactors. So you get these cofactors. So do it your Set and verify all these cofactors. Now, what's our next step? Next step is find adjoint. Adjoint A is what we have to do. Transpose. Now, to transpose 1, 1, minus 1, 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1, 1. This is 1, minus 1, and 1. Now, next step is to find out A inverse. A inverse is what? It's very simple. Adjoint of A divided by determinant of A. What's the determinant? We get 2. So 1 by 2. And adjoint of A is what? This is 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, and 1. Now apply matrix method. What is matrix method? X is equal to A inverse. B. Now put all these values. X is what? X, Y, Z. What is A inverse? 1 by 2. 1, 1, minus 1, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, minus 1, 1. And what is B? B is what? 0, 1, 3. Now you have to do solve. Now to multiply 1 by 2, solve it. 1 into 0, 0. Minus 1 into 1, minus 1. 1 into 3, 3. 1 into 0, 0. 1 into 1, 1. Minus 1 into 3, minus 3. Minus 1 into 0, 0. 1 into 1, 1. 1 into 3, 3. So we will get 1 by 2. Minus 1 plus 3, we get 2. 1 minus 3, minus 2. 1 plus 3, 4. So if we divide by 2, what's the result? We get 1 minus 1 and 2. Now do comparison. What's the value of x is what? 1. So we get x is equal to 1. Now what's the value of y is? Minus 1. Now what's the value of z is? So we get x is equal to 1, y is equal to minus 1, and z is equal to 2. So I am going to verify. Answer is correct. So now we complete our question number 3. Sorry, we did question number 4. So you have to do it all the questions 1 to question number 4. Then we will take next portion which is similar and the steps are something different in our next lecture so this is your part one i have to make part two and part three because i have to solve crime rule also if you are preparing yourself for je iit exams so if you like my video and if you realize is this matters is really helpful so don't forget to subscribe and share it with your social media that you are using facebook whatsapp and anything please share it 
as you can do gaurav gupta maths classes and do subscribe share and like please